So the third risk I want to just touch on is sequence of returns risk. Now, this is a really unknown risk to many. Um, and it's no secret that if you're investing in the stock markets, they don't go on this nice straight line oh, yeah. every single year. Some years the markets will soar, some years they, they will plummet. And it's that randomness of when will we get these returns that creates a problem for sequence of return risk. So we mentioned before about mountaineering. Let's take Mount Everest. Uh, the top 10% of the way down is the most dangerous. It's actually called the death zone to mountaineering. <laughs> now, when we're looking at decumulation, if we have a poor sequence of returns in the early years, yeah. this can have a severe impact on your uh, retirement experience. So it's a little bit complicated, a little bit technical, but I'd just like to give a quick example of this now. So if we can see on screen, um, we have a, a, a table here. Um, and this is two investors. They both yeah. start off with a million pounds each. They're both going to withdraw £50,000 every single year, inflated up. We've used a relatively low inflation rate of 2% here. Both investors have an average return of 5% over the entire period, and they both have the same, what we call volatility. Okay, so okay. you would expect all of that's the same to have exactly the same retirement experience. But if you note on investor A, in years one and two, they have a negative return of 15% in one and two, and then a 7% return thereafter. Yeah. Investor B has a nice sequence of returns at the start, and only in year 11 and 12 do they actually have this 15% fall in each year. Then it grows nicely again at 7%. So same volatility, same average return, but let's now have a look at their retirement journeys. So the next chart, um, this actually shows the actual retirement oh, journey. Yeah. So investor A has a significantly different experience mm -hmm. and in fact actually runs out of money at year 2021. Investor B has significantly more left. Mm -hmm. The problem what's occurred here is investor A has had a poor sequence of return right up front. With that loss coupled with the withdrawal, they've actually locked in those losses. So much so that mm. even though there was great returns for the next 23 years, the portfolio never had a chance to recover. Great sequence of returns at the start, even though the falls came later, it didn't really impact their portfolio. Oh. So would you take less out then if you were investor A? There are many, many options of how we overcome this as yeah. a way of management, uh, investment management uh, styles, mm. uh, the strategy that can, can mitigate this. Mm. Other ways is could you take less out and so forth. Mm. Many different ways. What we would say is you need to understand these risks and work with somebody yeah. who can manage these risks. I think that's really interesting because I think what that gets across to me is there's <laughs> certain amounts of luck, you know, and things that like you're saying, you can't control that bit, but you can mitigate it. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and it's only when we look back perhaps from markets where we say, OK, that, that was a good sequence of returns, but we, we don't know in the short term whether we're going to go into a sure. soaring market yeah. or, or one that muddles along or, or plummets a little bit. But certainly what we do know is it's a, it's a present, uh, it's an alive risk, sorry. Yeah. And you need to work with an investment manager who yeah. can manage this for you.